Lisa Salters is standing by from MetLife Stadium. And Lisa, the Jets have won three straight and would be just a half game out of first in the AFC East with a win tonight. Meanwhile, Aaron Rodgers seems to be moving better during Achilles rehab every time we see him. If the Jets are playoff relevant in January, is there a belief in Florham Park that Rodgers could actually make it back? Laura, it's been exactly eight weeks since Aaron Rodgers tore his Achilles just four plays into our Monday night football season opener. He had surgery two days later, and that was the end of his season, right? Apparently, Aaron Rodgers has other plans. We saw him throwing the football in pregame warmups three weeks ago, just over a month removed from surgery, and that really surprised a lot of people because typically athletes are supposed to be non-weight bearing for at least two months after an Achilles repair. But Jets head coach Robert Sala says Rodgers is, quote, on a mission to get back this season. And while the team isn't necessarily counting on that happening, they sure do respect the heck out of it. It would be easy for him to just collect his paycheck. But Sala said the fact that Rodgers is trying so hard to get back just shows his character and what kind of teammate he is. He's got a plan, Sala said about Rodgers, and if we can help him at all make it happen, we're going to do it the best way we can, meaning the Jets have to keep winning. For Rodgers to have any chance at this medically improbable comeback, the Jets would have to make it to the postseason for the first time since 2010. Laura? Adam, some bad news on the Chargers side of things. What do we know about Josh Palmer? Well, over the weekend, they've placed him on injured reserve, which means he's out for at least four weeks due to a knee injury. Now, keep in mind, this is a team that already had lost Mike Williams to a season-ending injury. Now, it will be without his replacement, Josh Palmer. Now, fortunately for them, they did activate Jalen Guyton off IR, but again, they'll be down Josh Palmer for at least the next four weeks. And earlier today, Aaron Rodgers arrived at MetLife Stadium and was walking through without the use of a cart. When well, we've seen him before sometimes in a cart, no need for a cart. Walking, making progress, showing up and giving Jets fans hope that somehow, some way, he can make it back at some point this season with him being on the mission that he's been on to bounce back from that torn Achilles that he suffered four plays in their regular season open. I mean, we're all reacting to him walking around like hey, that. Man. That's crazy. It, it, that ever is does insane. That, that yeah. is insane now. And and it, we, you know, we've been joking all over platforms about if Aaron Rodgers is going to come back or not. I still don't believe he can come back yeah. cuz it's different when guys that look like me chasing you, <laughs> but for him to be where he is right now a month removed He's different. it's unbelievable also too, having goals makes you work a different yeah. way it yeah. makes no you work toward them over under 216 passing yards for Zach Wilson you know what I'm going under and I know everybody's going to say well the Chargers defense and their secondary isn't great but that's not the way the New York Jets need to approach this game you want to start with the run then allow Zach Wilson to get into the play action so though I think he'll have a good game it won't be over 216 all right Austin Eckler hadn't rushed for more than 45 yards since his return from injury three weeks ago over under 55 and a half yards on the ground for the Chargers running back tonight. Quincy Williams came to the game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> CJ Mosley came to the game. I think so. Quentin Williams came to the game. Pretty sure. We gonna go under. <laughs> no, under. he hasn't been he hasn't been explosive since he returned from injury and this ain't the team you're gonna try to get nope. explosive against. I'm going under for Austin Eckler. Championship level defense. Let's talk yeah. points totals tonight. Over under 40 points scored tonight. I'm gonna say it's under 40 points okay. but it ain't like New York Jets New York Giants under 40 Baseball points. Story. They gonna get close, they gonna but they close. not gonna be over because I yeah. think the New York Jets understand the way that they have to win Absolutely. football games, and it's not being a shootout. Hey, here's a note for you: unders have gone 10 and three this week and have hit over 60 percent of the time for the season. Mm. Defense is stepping up. Yeah. I don't bet. Okay. Me neither. I don't, uh, know don't forget the Mannings are back on ESPN2 tonight. Check out the guest list, guys. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold. Let's, yep. And Trevor Lawrence, Keyshawn Johnson. They're all gonna <laughs> be. We love to see it. Check out uh, Peyton and Eli tonight as we talk about this Jets defense. They've won yep. three straight yep. thanks to that defense. Yep. And Gang Green allowed the fewest points in the NFL from weeks five through eight. Lead in total QBR allowed along with yards per play. They'll have a tough test against the Chargers offense as L.A. currently ninth in the league in scoring. Get some game picks here, boys, okay? See who we're picking between Jets and Who Chargers. We uh, we're going to let RC go first to explain his pick. Go you right know what? ahead. I'm going to go with the Jets. I think with the way that this team has been playing defense, especially now that yeah. Zach Wilson 
kind of finds ways to show up in the big moments. When you look at what he did against the New York Giants, you think Quincy Wilson, uh, CJ, Quincy Williams, CJ Mosley in the middle, what they could do on the back end with Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed at the corner position. I just think this team's a little too much on defense and Brees Hall yeah. in the run that leads to the play action game, I think could be big for the New York Jets. That is where I lean towards the Jets, RC, is the Brees Hall in the backfield component. And also, I think that they will let Zach Wilson make a couple plays downfield based off that run game. You got to test the secondary who has been awful this year. So I, I think the Jets pull this one out more behind their run game, but I think Zach Wilson may hit one or two big ones. Also, too, I want, I want YOLO Zach yeah, Wilson. Like, fun. Zach, like, mister, I want to protect the ball, Zach Wilson. Like, I don't like that dude. No. Yeah, like, I want more screech, yeah. less <laughs> Zach Morris. You know what? I kind of hope it's YOLO Zach Wilson so I could be right here because maybe he would YOLO one to the Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> their defense is very good. I'm picking the Chargers. I, here's That's the thing. Not, I mean, listen, it, I it's you. a three and a half point difference here. They're, they're yeah. saying the Chargers are three and a half point favorite on the road, but you could shake this. And Booker, you to go. your point, like as good as the Jets are, your 250 million dollar quarterback got to win this game. Yes, for you. come on now. Like, I know. Good real. point.